Flip City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the grocery store once again to do a video all about the best alternative sweeteners. And once we identify what the best ones are, I wanna walk around the grocery store and tell you some products you can find those sweeteners in because nowadays they're starting to put it in prepackaged products and drinks. And it really makes a difference because we're all about eliminating or limiting the amount of real sugar you eat. We all know sugar like over there is bad for you for many reasons, but I wanna talk about zero calorie, zero carb sweeteners. Before we get started, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. But guys, we have so much content going live every single week. You're gonna wanna enable the bell notification right below the video. That way you get a push as soon as we go live. All right, let's talk about my favorite uh, non-sweetener, and it's this right here. It's monk fruit sweetener. Now, this is a great brand here called Lacanto. Now, here's something that's very interesting and I get a lot of questions about. You're gonna see it's a combination of monk fruit and erythritol. And a lot of people will ask me if that's okay. And it is okay, because number one, the erythritol is non-GMO. And that's important because erythritol can come from corn, but monk fruit sweetener on its own is very sweet. I believe it's 300 times sweeter than sugar. So if you're gonna have it on its own, you could only sweeten maybe a cup of tea or coffee. You can't bake with it. When you blend it with erythritol, like it says right here, it's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. So any recipe you're cooking with, baking with, you can sub this out and make it a sugar-free, zero-carb, zero-calorie sweetener, and I love this stuff. Now, something I'm gonna mention, come over here. No matter if you're talking about erythritol, stevia, uh, any of these uh, sugar-free sweeteners, you still wanna eat them in moderation because even though this is way better than refined sugar, sugar in the raw, any kind of other sugar, it still is not great for your tummy and your tummy bacteria. We talk about this all the time. Your tummy bacteria are the backbone of your immune system, right? Well, if you eat too much of this stuff, it can disturb the bacteria and your tummy. So I would limit it, but that being said, it's still miles, miles better than any other kind of sugar. So this is a great one. If you're a Costco shopper, get it there. They have a monster bag for the same price as this small one here but this stuff is so good. This summer I made homemade lemonade and I made a simple syrup with this. It was phenomenal. No one knew the difference and it was completely sugar and keto free. So come over here for a second, Art. We have other options, right? My second favorite sweetener that's uh, sugar free would be stevia. Stevia is fantastic, but look at all these options here. We have liquid stevia. We have flavored liquid stevia. We have stevia powder. We have Truvia. Now, something about reading labels is what we always talk about. So come in here, this is Truvia. I get a lot of questions about this. You're gonna be like, oh, it's Stevia, it's non-GMO, I'm gonna buy it. And I'm gonna say, you might wanna look at the ingredients because yeah, sure, we have Stevia, we have Erythritol, I'm fine with that too, but we have natural flavors, right? So we talked about this before. You don't want natural flavors in there. And once again, in the monk fruit, in the raw, you're gonna think maybe it's pure monk fruit, and you see it's monk fruit and dextrose. Dextrose is another word for sugar. So it's very misleading. And if you don't know what natural flavors are, watch my natural flavors video on YouTube after this one. Basically, when you see natural flavors, it's another word for artificial flavors. They'll take something like a vanilla bean. They'll extract the flavor molecules from the vanilla bean. They could add up to 100 synthetic flavor chemical compounds to it and still call it natural, and it's not. You wanna see something like a real vanilla extract. And when they're adding natural flavors to this, it's just pure artificial flavors doctoring up everything. You don't want that. So instead, I would come here. I would get pure stevia liquid extract. You look at this one, number one, it's organic. You see the ingredients here. You see it's stevia and it's based on a little bit of alcohol, just like a uh, vanilla extract would be, and that's clean. Sometimes you'll see stevia powder like this. This is cool, but you gotta read the ingredients, you guys, because sometimes we'll use maltodextrin. This one just is pure stevia, that's it. The one from Trader Joe's has a little bit actually of milk powder in there, but sometimes people see those big bags at Aldi of stevia. Read the ingredients. It's it's stevia mixed with maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a GMO food preservative that actually spikes your blood sugar. You don't want that, so stay away from that. It's gotta be pure or have something that's clean mixed in there. Let's take a quick break from the video and thank today's sponsor, Audible, who's a longtime supporter of the channel because here's the deal. I just don't have time anymore to sit down and read a book but I do have time to listen to an audiobook while I'm in the kitchen cooking, at the gym working out, and right now I'm listening to an audiobook called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a 
and pretty much the title gives away what the audiobook is about. It's fantastic. But here's the deal, you guys. Check them out. They have a great promo code going on right now. You can get a 30-day free trial, and that includes one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. If you go to audible.com slash flavecity or text flavecity to 500-500, Audible has a lot of cool things going on, but some of my favorite features are every single month with your membership, you get a free audiobook and two free Audible original. If you don't use those credits, they roll over to the next month. If you buy an audiobook and listen to it and don't like it, get this. You can return it and get your money back. That's unheard of. And if you cancel your membership, you get to keep all of the audiobooks you already bought to listen to in the future. It's a great service. I really think you guys should check it out. Once again, go to audible.com slash flavecity or text flavecity to 500, 500 Get that 30-day free trial. Get that free audiobook. The two free Audible originals, I think you're really going to love it and mad love to them for sponsoring the video. Now, this is where things get very interesting. Some people I noticed who sent me emails and contacted me on DM like these flavored here. Now, let me ask you a question. When you're having a chocolate or a root beer flavored stevia leaf, how do you think they're getting that? This is insane. I need a micro. Look at this. I think it's down here. I need a freaking uh, microscope. It's natural flavors. Can you see that? Natural flavors. And then on the root beer, what do you think they're doing? Putting a real root beer? No, natural flavors. So stay away from these flavored ones. They make it so small, even my iPhone can't read it. But even on the plain sweet leaf, sweet drops here, it says natural flavors. So be very careful when you're having stuff like that. You gotta be, care be careful that it's clean. This is a pretty good brand. It's called Wholesome. Whoa, man down, man down. <laughs> it's called Wholesome and it's Stevia. But once again, it's combined with natural flavors. So this is why we make these videos, because not only we educate you to the best items like this, but to read the ingredients, because we never take what's on the front of the box for the truth. You gotta read the ingredients, because in the ingredients, and in the devil in the details, you can't lie. Okay, now there's a couple other sweeteners here, like erythritol. And even though I'm okay with erythritol blended in with the, uh, with the monk fruit, I find that straight up erythritol can have a cooling effect on my tongue. And I'm not a huge fan of it. If you don't mind it, I have no problem. Just make sure it's non-GMO because it can be from corn. And then Swerve is interesting. Swerve is erythritol based and it clearly says non-GMO here, but every single one of these uh, varieties has natural flavors here from Swerve. So there's a lot of options here and including xylitol. This is not anything I would eat. This is very common for gum but this is the kind of sweetener that could actually really disturb your tummy and your tummy bacteria and your intestines. You don't want to use xylitol. Also, if you eat too much xylitol, it can cause you to have like diarrhea, cha-cha-cha, and you don't want that. So now that we know the basics of the sugar-free keto sweeteners and really what you want to look for, let's go around the grocery store and see some of my favorite products that are using it and therefore making a product that used to have sugar now be sugar-free and Bobby approved and safe to eat and drink. All right, take a look at this huge wall of energy bars and protein bars, and it blows my mind. There's only one, count in one brand here that actually is sugar-free using one of those uh, sugar-free sweeteners we talked about. And once again, it's the uh, Bulletproof guys. And this is so interesting. I'm gonna reach for something. Look at this flavor art. This says apple pie here. Normally, that would freak the heck out of me because I think it's Natural Flavor City. But let's take a look here at the ingredients. So this is super interesting because it's cashew butter, and once again, they're using grass-fed collagen protein here. They're using the uh, MCT oil powder. So the MCTs, they come from either coconut oil or palm oil. I don't love the fact that it could come from palm oil, but we're talking about the MCT oil, so I'm not as concerned. The rest of the ingredients, you guys, apples, cashews, coconut oil, real vanilla extract, not uh, natural flavors, and stevia leaf. Wow, wow, wee wow. Are you kidding me? You guys, any of these flavors here, mint chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie dough, lemon cookie, do not use natural flavors. Use clean ingredients and they're relying purely around the stevia. So we look at the sweetness for the whole bar. Number one, zero added sugars and four. This is only four grams of natural sugar in a whole bar. Four grams is one teaspoon. Compare that to anyone else here, unbelievable. Some bars do rely on dates which have high natural sugar, but this is what you wanna get. I don't understand why more people are not doing it, but that's really impressive when you talk about the sweetener they're doing in there, combined with the uh, MCTs and the grass-fed ghee. 
really, really cool. And you can get that at Trader Joe's too. I think it's a better price than here. All right, let's talk about ice cream. Something we touched about in the uh, frozen food video the other week. We all know about Halo Top, right? It's one of the better known low sugar, low fat, low calorie ice cream. And you gotta stick with chocolate or vanilla, otherwise there's natural flavors. But the ingredients are pretty clean, right? And they're using, see, a touch of cane sugar. They also use stevia. The thing is, there's still six grams of sugar in here for a half cup serving. So I would actually rather you trade out. And there's a couple things to trade out for. Number one, Trader Joe's has their version of Halo Top in the Trader JoJo's light peanut butter. That one's amazing. Aldi has their own Sunday Shop version that is cleaner than Halo Top, has amazing uh, ingredients, and it's really, really cheap. Or this brand, which we've talked about before, Slim Twin. The reason why I like this one, it's like Halo Top, but I think it's even better because, look, it's a two-thirds serving per cup, and it's only two grams of added sugar here, two sugar alcohol, and yes, they use a touch of cane sugar, but they also use the monk fruit extract, and because monk fruit is so strong, you only need a little bit of it. So to have two thirds of a cup and only have two grams of sugar alcohols and total sugars of seven, we're talking about seven grams of sugar, a two third serving, two third cup serving of regular uh, ice cream can have like 25 grams of sugar. So there are some really cool options now when it comes to ice cream. We talked about this one in the drinks video, but this Rebel, they make plant-based uh, smoothies and drinks. And look at the amount of sugars in here. This one only has four grams of sugar for the entire 12 ounce bottle. And that's because the sweetener is stevia. And they do have a touch of coconut sugar, which is a great paleo sweetener. But this has plant-based protein, coffee, and it's low to no sugar. That's the kind of stuff you wanna drink. Here's a great one, come in here. A lot of these coffee drinks will be loaded with sugar. I've seen one from Starbucks and one from Dunkin' Donuts that had 41 grams of total sugar, which is crazy. This is one of the best ones. It's the Bulletproof Coffee and it's zero sugar. How do they do that? Look at the ingredients here. It's a combination of stevia and erythritol. What's so cool about this is, is that it has the MCTs, it has grass-fed butter. So this is the OG original Bulletproof Coffee. So when you drink a coffee that has the MCT oil and the butter blended into it, it has a slower release of caffeine. But if you drink this with your breakfast, it actually keeps you fuller longer and you don't get hungry around 11 o'clock. I mean, I would make my own at home and put a couple drops of stevia in there, but this is great for on the road because these other ones, a lot of them are loaded with sugar and natural flavors and you don't want that, but the original one is really, really clean. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to give you an idea of the best sugar-free sweeteners because there are some great options over there, but you gotta read the ingredients. And then I wanted to give you an idea of what you can get at the grocery store now that is sugar-free that, heck, five years ago did not exist. So guys, that is it. Please let me know what other kind of videos you wanna see. I have a list, Art has a list, but we wanna know what you make because we make these videos all for you. Like, subscribe, share. The only way our channel keeps growing the way it has the month of January is by spreading the love. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace.